I've been reading your books. Because this is what happens. I get authors on my show, and then I read the books. Oh, thank you. So I get to read. You didn't have to read it. Right? Of course I did. <laughs> but now I want you to read a piece from it. <laughs> do you, do you uh, want to read a portion from sure, it? Sure, yeah, yeah. I was thinking uh, The Dog Misconnections is a short one. Sure, yeah. This is hilarious, guys. Thank you. You're really going to love this story. Let me set it up uh, more. Set it up. Let me, let me get the expectations going higher yeah. as I try to find it. Defining do you know what, seminal work. Do you know what page it's on? <laughs> <laughs> do you know what page your stories are on? Simon, did you read your own book? <laughs> it's a really, it's like a short thing, so it's like just a one. Table of contents, I could. Oh, there's a table of contents. Oh, here we go. Well, that's not it. <laughs> Simon, why don't you tell us uh, your favorite moment from SNL while you're trying to find that? <laughs> my, my favorite moment of SNL. Yeah. Um, because that's another show that influenced you when you were watching it. Hugely, yeah, yeah. I mean, I would, I would watch. Uh, Every day after school, I would watch Comedy Central for a few hours before The Simpsons reruns oh, started yeah. at seven, and, and it would be uh, SNL, Kids in the Hall, oh. um, and then I'd watch, you know, like the Benny Hill Show, and <laughs> and and, uh, and just. But then the, the, then cool, the cool down with the Benny Hill Show. Cool down with Benny. I like Benny Hill Show. Yeah. Um, got a lot, a lot of good moments from that show. Um, I remember my my first episode was really exciting. It was it was. Uh, LeBron James was the host. Yeah. Uh, when he was on the Cavs in yeah. 2007, and um, it was my first week there, and I was so nervous. And I wrote a sketch uh, that went to there's there's a dress rehearsal on Saturday nights at 8 p.m. and it goes from 8 to 10 p.m. It's a two-hour show, and SNL is an hour and a half, and they they cut the worst half hour from the show. Um, so my first week, I got something to the dress rehearsal and. It was in the worst half hour of the, of the show, and it got cut, so no one ever saw it. But, but they still produced the sketch. They built a set and everything. So uh, it was a sketch where uh, Bill Hader and, and Amy were a married couple, and they had a memory foam mattress. And um, Bill was really upset, because every day when he went to work, when he came home from work, Amy's side of the bed, like her indentation in the mattress was normal. <laughs> But, but his side of the mattress, there was always a LeBron James-shaped indentation <laughs> in the mattress, and he was very upset with, the, with customer service. Yeah. And uh, LeBron James played Amy's trainer. <laughs> uh, but, uh, it was a very identifiable. But, but, but it, was, you know, it was the first time you see them actually, even if it doesn't go on TV that first week, just seeing them build the stupid mattress with the holes in it, you know? That's crazy. It was so exciting, yeah. They go through all that, and then the sh it doesn't actually make the final cut. I the know, show. yeah. But it, it was, thr I mean, I, got, I was really lucky and got to work with great actors. And, yeah. Um, I wish an actor from SNL was here to read this piece, but... <laughs>